All right, let's get right into it because Zipu AI just dropped something that has, well, pretty much the entire AI world talking. They've unleashed a new model that isn't just some minor update. No, this is a direct challenge to the biggest names in the business. And, you know, I'm really not exaggerating here. What we're talking about today, it's not just another small step forward. This is a real shakeup, a fundamental shift in the AI landscape, especially for developers and anyone who cares about open source tech. It really feels like a sign of what's to come. So let's set the scene. How did this all go down? Well, this wasn't some huge flashy conference announcement. Nope. It was more of a quiet release that ended up creating a massive shockwave. So on December 8th, Zipu AI quietly released GLM 4.6 and his super smart sibling 4.6V, and this immediately put all the big closed source players on notice. It's what's called a frontier scale model, which is just a fancy way of saying it's right at the absolute cutting edge, and it was built for developers from the ground up. Okay, so what's actually under the hood of this thing? Let's take a look at the engine, the core GLM 4.6 model. Right off the bat, it's built on something called a mixture of experts architecture. The easiest way to think about it is like this. Instead of having one single brain trying to do everything, you have a whole team of specialists. Each little expert network is a pro at a specific kind of task, which makes the whole model way smarter and a lot more efficient. And here's the number that made everyone sit up, 355 billion parameters. To give you some context, that puts it right in the same league as some of the most powerful models from giants like Google and Anthropic. This thing is a serious contender. But honestly, this might be the most jaw-dropping feature, a 200,000 token context window. I mean, the amount of information you can cram into this model in a single go is just, it's totally unheard of for an open source model of this caliber. And it's not just about what you can feed it, it's about what you can get back. It can spit out a maximum of 128,000 tokens. You could literally ask it to write a 50 page report and it could just do it in one shot. So let's put that 200,000 token number into perspective. What does that actually mean in the real world? We're talking about feeding it an entire book, a whole software code base, 400 pages of dense legal or research documents, and it can process all of that in a single pass. That's a total game changer for any kind of deep analysis. And when you put it to the test on real world coding challenges, GLM 4.6 goes head to head with a top tier proprietary model like Claude Sonnet 4. Look at that, it's basically a coin flip. A near 50% win rate proves this is a legit competitor. It shows that open source is catching up, and it's catching up fast. But believe it or not, the core model is only half the story. The multi-model version, GLM 4.6V, is where things get really wild. Now this isn't just a model that can see images. No, it's what's called an agentic multimodal system. And here's the key difference. It doesn't just look at visual information. It understands it, reasons about it, and then can directly take action or use tools based on what it sees. It's a huge leap. Think about this for a second. You can show it a screenshot of a website, right? And then just give it a simple command in plain English, like, hey, fix this login form. The model will literally read the image, understand your command, and then execute by writing the exact code needed to make that change. That workflow is incredible. And the sheer amount of stuff it can handle in one prompt is just mind boggling. We're talking 30 high-res images, plus 80,000 words of text, long video clips, multi-page PDFs with complicated charts, all at the same time. Most other models can't even dream of doing that. Now, Zipu was smart about this. They released two different versions for two different jobs. You've got the monster 106 billion parameter version for maximum power, which you'd get through an API, and then you have the flash version. It's a smaller, but still incredibly capable 9 billion parameter model that's totally free, has an MIT license, and is designed to run right on your own computer. So this brings us to the big picture here. Why is the open source part of this release so incredibly important? This quote really says it all, doesn't it? It's basically Zipu's mission statement. They're firing a shot across the bow saying, hey, if the big closed source companies are gonna keep these powerful AI agent abilities locked away, fine, we'll just give them to everyone. And you can really see the two different philosophies at play. The closed approach usually means lots of restrictions, limited features, and you can't see how the model actually works. Zipu is offering the complete opposite, total commercial freedom, that massive context window, full access to the model, and all at a lower cost. 
It's a fundamental shift in who holds the keys. So, with all this insane power and freedom, what can you actually build with this? Let's get into some of the real-world things this tech unlocks. First up, automated code base refactoring. Because of that giant context window, you can literally feed the model your entire project's code. It can then analyze the whole thing, suggest smart improvements, hunt for bugs, and even help you map out new features. It's like having a brilliant senior developer on call 24-7. Or how about this? You sketch out a design for a website or an app on a napkin, and the AI generates the pixel-perfect front-end code for you just like that. That agentic vision capability we talked about makes this possible, cutting down development time from weeks to minutes. For anyone working in research or finance, this is an absolute monster. Its ability to process text and images together means you can upload a massive 100-page financial report packed with charts and graphs and get a perfect, nuanced summary. It understands the context from the words and the pictures natively. And maybe the most revolutionary part of all is running that 9 billion parameter flash model locally on your own machine. This means you can build powerful, truly private AI agents that never have to send your sensitive data to the cloud. The dream of having a powerful, personal AI is finally here. Which brings us to the final and most important question. Zipu didn't just release a cool new model, they made a statement about where AI is heading. When this level of frontier technology is made free, open, and available to anyone with a good idea, what happens next? What are you going to build?